Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome to CryptoCast. I'm your host Parker and welcome back to another Cryptid Reigns video where I'm going to be rating cryptids on a scale of 1 to 10 based on whether I personally believe that they exist or not. Um, so today, um, before we get started guys, I just want to say um, thank you to everybody who has subscribed to me. Um, I recently posted my channel on Reddit to try to get some more traffic in since the YouTube algorithm has been messing everything up a bit. And um, I got so much support from that post. So everybody who came from Reddit, thank you all so much for coming in and being part of this community. And I hope you guys enjoy these videos. Um, it's kind of like one of my things I like to do is to, I don't know, just bring everyone in the crypto community together. We all share like the same interests and everything. And I just think that's really, really cool. So I want to thank you guys so much for coming out, checking out my channel, and being kind enough and being kind enough to subscribe. So I thank you guys so much for that. Um, but today we are going to be talking about the Hopkinsville Goblins. And this was a weird sighting that happened in Hopkinsville, Kentucky back in 1955 by the Sutton family. Um, they were kind of in their house one night when all of a sudden there were these creatures that kind of resembled like if you've ever seen the movie gremlins um they kind of resembled gremlins except there was there were some differences they're really short gray creatures with big eyes big kind of like bat-like ears um and they had claw-like hands but and they were there was a bunch of them um so um they tried shooting at the hopkinsville goblins and what happened was the bullets didn't take any effect. It sounded like it was metal hitting metal. Um, and so in other words, it didn't have effect, any effect on them. They were kind of like in the trees as well, like appearing in the trees, kind of appearing like it almost like they could kind of like disappear and appear at will. It was kind of, it was a weird situation. Um, but they were essentially kind of like at a loss of what to do with these creatures so eventually the goblins kind of got bored and they wandered off and kind of disappeared and there was like a green glow kind of deep in the woods um where people believe that maybe like one of the bullets hit it and it actually did some damage and that was the blood um Anyway, they called the police the next day, and the police and, like, the media covered their story and everything. However, a lot of people didn't um, believe them. Since the Sutton family, they were kind of known to be kind of habitual liars. And um, to an extent, so a lot of people thought it was fake, but there was some evidence that they did see some stuff, such as um, a broken metal fence that had, like, a hole through it, um, claw marks on wood and stuff. So there is definitely some evidence that they did see something there. However was the Hopkinsville Goblins. Um, skeptics don't believe so. Um, they believe that they just encountered an owl um, and that the green glow could be foxfire, which is sort of what um, decaying wood emits um, in the like in nat nature. So like when wood kind of decays, it emits, kind of, sometimes it can emit like a, a greenish glow, which could explain the um, glowing that they saw in the woods the previous night, which was which they interpreted as alien blood. Um, so we kind of have to take this into consideration as well, with the Suttons being the habitual liars and people believing that it could be an owl or the fox fire for the blood in that case. But then again, I don't think an owl will be able to really just essentially just put a hole through a metal fence. So we kind of have to take that into consideration as well. There's a lot to these guys, um, with like their appearing and disappearing powers, their... Um, ability to not be affected by bullets so there's a lot to take in with these guys so we have the habitual liars and um all the other evidence that says they did see something so i don't know i really i really 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 want to believe this one because they are they're cool i honestly really like the hopkinsville goblins um they look really cool. They look essentially like, like I said, little gremlins from the movie Gremlins, one of my all-time favorite movies. I love Gremlins and Gremlins 2. Um, in fact, uh, no, I put it up somewhere else. I do have a little gizmo somewhere. I'll have to find them at some point. Um, so the closest I have is a Furby in my room right now. But yeah, I do like these guys a lot. So essentially kind of with nostalgia... And the ch and like the thing with like everybody like having extraterrestrial encounters back in the day. Um, I want to give these guys a seven out of ten 
uh, I would rate them higher, um, but I kind of have to take into the account that the Sutton family are habitual liars, so they could have easily kind of fabricated this as well. So they're not getting like an extremely high rating, but 7 out of 10 I feel like is a fair fit for them because I want to believe these guys are real, but we also have to take into the account that um, the Kelly family, the Kelly Sutton family, um, they loved, loved, loved attention, and they like to do whatever it took to get attention. So we have to take that into consideration as well. So I feel like a 7 out of 10 rating on the Cryptid rating scale is a very fair rating for the Hopkinsville Goblins. So if you guys like this video, be sure to hit that like button. You can dislike it if you dislike it. I heard if you dislike this video, um, the Hopkinsville Goblins, they will be peeking in your window like in um the thumbnail for this video and being like dude let me in i'm a fairy and they will find a way in um and the only way they they will not be able to enter your house is if you hit the like button on this video it will make your house alien proof so if you want your house to be alien proof you gotta like this video also guys if you're new consider hitting that subscribe button become a member of the crypto crew today and comment below um what you would like to see in the future content wise cryptid rating wise cryptid cage match wise all that fun stuff and check out all of my links in the social media um in the description below i got twitter facebook instagram two discords one for ghosts one for cryptid so be sure to check that out um Gonna, there's going to be a live stream this Sunday. Um, I don't know what it'll be about. I got to see if my one person's ready to do the one stream about tarot and shit. Um, I don't know. Um, I'm, I mean, I'm going to try to film the cryptid ratings. Um, work's been kind of uh, iffy lately, so I haven't really been able to film a lot of... Like, I haven't been able to film any cryptid ratings since I started going back. So I apologize for that. So I will try to get some out. I don't know what to do for those. Like give me some good cryptids that you would like me to pair up with each other to see who would win in a fight. Um, and yeah, again, thank you guys to everybody who has subscribed recently and was so cool enough to check out my subscribe and was so cool to check out my channel and, and subscribe to me. I, that was really cool guys. So I really, really appreciate it. And thank you to the, again, to the cryptid subreddit community as well. You guys are awesome. Um, so thank you guys so much for tuning in today. Um, you've been watching CryptoCast. I've been your host, Parker. Stay spooky, guys, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.